do you think, Trav? Just one giant one? What is going on, guys? It's Brennan Jay, and today we are at the Backyard Pond for another fire video. I have not been out here in a while, so yesterday I did a quick lap around the pond, saw that some of my underwater structures that we put in over about a year ago uh, actually got washed up on the shore somehow. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how they ended up here, but both of them, I'm assuming, Someone cast it out, snagged them, reeled them in, and then just kind of left them. So this is one of them. You guys remember these are like those tomato structure things and we put like hella zip ties on them, but we shoved them down into the ground like this and the fish are able to like swim through and all this stuff here. Um, so we had this one and we had this one. I think we only had two. No, we might've had three. Uh, I'm not really sure, but either way, this is the premise for today's video. Uh, I'm gonna take you on a lap around the pond and show you why we're gonna be doing this, but first I gotta explain it. So basically, long story short, <clears throat> the way this pond is built is we've got a deep section over here. It's like a deep pool. It's almost the peak of summer right now, so the fish are gonna be tending to be over here a little bit more just because it's blazing hot in Florida. Um, and then as you go around the pond, it ends up in like a shallow like finger flat of like a foot of water over there. So as you guys know, we have absolute giant mega bass in here and they're just gonna decimate all the bluegill. Um, and the bluegill are forced to stay in the shallow right now because that's where all the lily pads and stuff are. But we need them to be able to go into the depths to uh, stay cool and be able to chill over there uh, without having to worry about the bass. So that's where the big structures come into play. These things are in kind of rough shape, but good news is they aren't rusted. That was the only thing I was worried about but I say we go to Home Depot. I think we get like as many as they sell of these things and we rip them out uh, to the deep side. So I am gonna be diving today, but we've gotta see what Home Depot has. If they don't have these, we're gonna have to come up with something else, but I'm sure we can find something. Zoom it on down, Trav. Do you see it too? Look at that. Can you see it? Look at that. A gambler, easy swimmer. She's missing a tail too, so I'm guessing somebody uh, somebody got after it out here. Still smells very rich in garlic, so it's pretty recent. Also, I'll show you a uh, screenshot of a message I got on Instagram the other day that um, probably accompanies with this. I'll go ahead and pop that up on the screen. So I get these messages like all the time. I really don't understand. Uh, I don't know. I, I just. I don't know. I'll never, I'll never understand. But maybe we buy a gazillion of these structures and like mount them into the ground somehow, so people just hang up on them and then come out here and fish. <laughs> maybe fisherman deterrent structures as opposed to like bluegill, <laughs> bluegill structures. Remember when I said we should buy all of them? <laughs> I, I may have spoke too soon. Bro, look how many they have. Four green. Jesus. <laughs> The people that we're checking out with, they're gonna think we're gonna have one serious tomato farm. All right, so we've got four red, four green, four blue. So we got 12 here, and we've got four minis. So we have a total of 16 structures. I put zip ties on them last time to like make them more, I don't know, structural? Like, I don't know, like more places for the fish to hide. Uh, but I don't think it needs it at all. So we're not gonna do zip ties this time. Plus it took like hours last time, we have way more. Um, but I think with 16 total structures, we can build like two big pods or like one just colossal area for bait. Um, so it'd be cool to come back in like a week and see what the fish are on. But that being said, we got to check it out. Somehow we managed to spend $130 on wire. So please like the video. <laughs> And we are back at the pond. Now, if you're a person who's very aware, you may have noticed the outfit change. That's because today's video is sponsored by RevTown. They're a very cool company. A couple of Under Armour execs decided to venture off and start RevTown and basically fix all the downfalls of denim, which as you know, if you've wore denim jeans before, mobility is a big downfall of denim, but they pretty much solved the problem here. RevTown jeans are designed to keep you on the move, whether that's from the office to the bar, or in my case, from the pond straight to Home Depot, which means no crotch binding, bum sweats, or tight thighs, which <laughs> is a nice thing. I ended up getting two pair. The pair I'm wearing right now are the Sharp 
Slim Fit Rinse Indigo. So if you like the ones I'm wearing, you can go ahead and get those below. The second pair I got right here are the Sharp Slim Fit Dark Indigos, but they have a ton of different color palettes for you guys. I typically like dark, darker jeans, that's why I got these, but they have from light jeans all the way to super dark. So if you like the jeans that I'm personally wearing or you wanna see if they've got some jeans that you like, make sure you click the link in the description below or go to www.revtownusa.com slash jigging and get yourself a pair of jeans. All right, so we have all of these structures behind us now and uh, laying them all out, it's way more than I thought it was. So I think we're gonna like build a little semi-structure in the shallows so you guys can see what it's going to actually look like underwater um, but it also is going to give us a better idea of if we want to do one giant cluster or one on the left side and one on the right side of the fountain like two medium-sized clusters because this is a ton right here we could just have colored a colored bundles too you know what i mean like a couple different a couple different ones see where we're going here i'm kind of liking this Honestly. So before we just, I mean, we still have the old ones too. So before we just had zip ties and we had them like all by themselves. But with this, um, the pointy ends are gonna be stuck just like this. There's gonna be water over this. But if the fish go in and out of this, dude, they are safe. Like those big bass are not bobbing and weaving through this. Plus we still have four smaller structures uh, too. So what do you think, Trav? Just one giant one? I think so. Just make one giant one on the left hand side here. Yeah. And then uh, we'll come back in like a week with a Nauta cam. I think it'll be sick. All right, so we also got the little guys set up too. I'm not sure if you can see those or not, but this is a very impressive structure. I'm thinking um, where the lily pads start over there, it's a drop off. And so I think I'm gonna put them right on the edge of that drop off. Also, I have to worry about the little alligator that's hanging out in here. Cause normally I can see them on the bank. That's when I dive, but I can't see them right now. And uh, another thing is I want you guys to take a good gander at this now because as soon as I touch that water and start shoving these into the dirt, it's full of silt and it's just going to cloud out really bad. We're not going to be able to see anything. Uh, but when I come back, maybe in a week or so, bring the big Nauta cam, see how much bait and stuff is actually on these. So I think it's going to be a really cool experiment. I want you to comment in the comment section below if we should do another big bundle on the other side. I don't want to split this in half. I love how big this is. Um, but I do want your input. So with that being said, let's throw the goggles on. Let's get this thing in the middle of the pond. I almost forgot the original OG structures. We're going to put these out there too. That's going to add even more to it. That's going to be insane. One small step for man, one giant swim for Brandon J. What do you think about right here? Further? Hey, you think I should do a big cluster like this or do a line? Like okay. of like two and two and two. I think a cluster. Cluster? Yeah. Alright. so much silt dude I can't see anything I'm just like <laughs> it's so bad four was doing four I stirred everything up pretty bad so I'm gonna do it again <laughs> these are gonna be rough because these are the size that we're using and I'm already pushing them way down into the silt so these are pretty much going to disappear. So I got to figure out how I want to do this. Maybe put it inside some of them. That way there's like smaller, you know what I'm saying? Smaller holes. Yeah, I think work. that's the move. All right, perfect. I'm going to do that then because we'll never find these like ever. <laughs> They'll just be gone in the silt. By the way, I got a secret. 
we're getting a tractor to come suck all the silt out of this place. So it might take a month or so, but I'll talk to you more about that when I'm done with it. It's really cool though. Wow, I was recording on my GoPro for 10 minutes, so just know that that whole process, I was swimming for 10 minutes, just back and forth. Well, we got it done. Uh, it's pretty cool under there. I think maybe when the dust, not the dust, the mud muck settles, um, we might be able to see the tops of those rings. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I muddied this up pretty bad. I don't want to stop there though. I really, um, I want to kind of swim in between some of these lilies. I know the alligators definitely probably You're just sitting over in the lilies, but um, I want to swim over in there because I want to see, uh, that's where all my bass are hanging out right now is on the shore. That's where all the bait is. So hence why we did this so the bait would come out. But I just want to swim across and see like if I see anything or any different species or anything. I saw one or two tilapia uh, about a month ago. So hopefully we don't get a tilapia invasion. It'll be a mega bow fishing video if that's the case, but. Uh, so I'm just gonna swim around for a little bit enjoy the water. I only have my GoPro so I share what I can It's hard to uh, see with the muddy stuff. So wish me luck I just ran into a bass that was guarding a whole school of fry. So we had a successful spawn. Whew. Man, that was cool. Dude, I saw some really cool stuff. So, we've got a, wow, we've got a couple of like really great things. So, first off is the uh, structure that we put in looks phenomenal. Like the mud settled by the time I did a full lap. Looks great and it's like a big cluster, ins and outs everywhere. So, those bluegill that want to push off, as soon as they leave those lilies, they've got that structure right there, which is great. But I also noticed on two of the outside lilies, there was two clusters of um, like a fry, which if you don't know what a fry is, it's delicious. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. It's, a, it's like a little bait fish. Well, it's not a bait fish. It's a baby fish. And so the bass just uh, completed their spawn when it was a little bit cooler. And now they've got what's called a fry garter. So one of those bass is dedicated to guarding the ball of fry from bluegill and stuff like that. So um, it was really cool. I swam up on the first bait ball. I was like, oh my gosh. And then I saw the bass just kind of go off. Um, obviously I spooked the bass, but she'll come right back and ran into the second one, did the same thing. Um, but it was really freaking cool. Another thing you might've saw me doing um, is like touching the ground and then giving you a thumbs up or like a eh. Um, what I was doing is showing you like the amount of silt. So they spray at this pond. It's just a bunch of dead plants. The plants die. <laughs> the plants die. They go to the bottom and it just becomes like silt, like just really nasty. Um, so we're going to do this like thing with this tractor. It's called a we do. And I talked to them back in the beginning of 2020 about doing it, but it was just, we never got around to it and we both just got busy. Um, but here's a little bit of footage of the tractor and they actually have a suction device. Um, that's gonna suck out all the silt and make this like a beautiful sand bottom again.
good out there, man. That's chicken with shortage. <laughs> <laughs> that's not too. That's not too hard. So it's pretty cool. It's a basically aquatic tractor, if you will. And instead of spraying, it's just manual labor. But instead of manual labor, it's a tractor that gets it done faster and cheaper. Uh, so it's going to be really cool. They're going to come out here. We just got to get like some of the uh, you know logistics down, like how they get the uh, boat in, and then when we both have time and everything. But which is going to be really cool. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, but with that being said, I mean we pretty much completed our task for today. All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I know it wasn't the longest one ever, but the uh, goal was to just put the structure in the pond and get the structure that got dragged out of the pond back into the pond. And if you're dragging my structures out of my pond, then, homie, we got a problem. Kind of. <laughs> uh, but seriously, uh, I'm glad we got this done today. I cannot wait for the we do. So uh, let me know in the comment section below if you're excited about that and maybe some ideas of how we can, like, do more stuff <laughs> do more stuff here i don't know i just want you guys to comment say say you love me i don't know say maybe say you hate me i don't know say say something in the comments i want to talk to you uh <laughs> all right i could keep rambling on forever thanks for revtown for sponsoring today's video that's gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching and as always i will catch you guys on the next adventure where who knows what we're doing because i don't even know yet all right peace out Yeah, I'm outnumbered, but I won't lose no more, and that's the promise. They say to make it, you got it.